Peach Bowl and welcome everyone to the booking.com kickoff as we get ready for the first of today's two college football playoff semifinals between number one LSU and fourth ranked Oklahoma. The Tigers making their first ever appearance in the playoff. Oklahoma it's third straight fourth in the last of that same locker room to take on Georgia in the SEC championship game and Ed Ogeron's Tigers defeated the Bulldogs 37 to 10 as LSU takes the field college football playoff again they have the advantage of experience in the playoff this however is not familiar territory for the Sooner Schooner they've been playing football at Oklahoma since 1895 this is the first game ever for the Sooners in the state of Georgia averaging less than 17 yards per return they're 116th in the country and as usual, it's a touchback for Atkins. 84%. So effective the second half of the season. Powerful 218 pounder. Looking to throw and in trouble. Wrapped up and down in the arms of Caleb. O On the ground with Kennedy Brooks, and he's stacked up by a foot. Third down, nearly 17. Clearly a pro LSU crowd here in SEC country. Very conservative play call and nothing doing for Kennedy Brooks. Shaw out of New Braunfels, Texas had an excellent Ooh. first year as a starter. And right on cue, a shank. That'll come up short of mid found him. Chris Curry gets the starter running back wide open as Thaddeus Moss chopped down after a first down. Ron told us they'd line up wide receivers in the backfield. They did there with Jamar Chase over the middle. The gate inside the second half of the year. First team all SEC after the play fake, the slant, the catch, and the touchdown for Justin Jefferson. In the red zone, best in the country, and the extra point up and good. There's Avery Atkins to kick off again, another bomb. Down to the sideline, here's Holly. Well, got to tell him the news, guys, a very difficult day in Tiger family. Oh, wow. Unspeakably sad. Can only imagine what's going through his heart. What a good man he is. Oh, such a good man. Kennedy Brooks. Out records, but they have been so deferential, and respectful of each other. Our condolences and much more than that to the Ensminger family. Under pressure, Hertz just had to throw it away in the general direction to see. Reeves Munshaw, much better punt this time, and a fair catch made by Derrick. Good thing his passing is more accurate than that last cast. Deep throw. Incomplete for Terrace Marsh. Physical guy. He's a redshirt freshman, so he's a year older than the other two backups. And just 22 carries all year. He won the Bolitnikoff Award. Very little pressure. Now there is. He's in trouble and down. Turned it into a gain of a yard to C.D. Lamb. He's returned one punt for a touchdown this year. Short tumbling punt. And it takes a bad bounce. French maker, they got to figure out a way to get him the football. And Derek Stingley, the freshman, was pressed right up on him. Hurts takes an overpowering offensive line, but they do understand angles, and that creates creases and space in their run game. Their offensive line won the Joe Moore Award last year, but brought back only one starter, the center, Creed Humphrey, who's outstanding. The other four were all NFL draft picks. There's plenty of room for Hurts, and he has the first first down. Told Holly before the game, they had to be good setting the edge, particularly against the quarterback run. And now a false start penalty against Oklahoma. First quarter. Hurts. Turned in the direction of nobody, lofts it out in the flat, caught by Braden Willis, and he's lost. They go quickly. Plenty of time for Jalen. Single coverage. Deep ball up for grabs and caught by CeeDee Lamb. 
near the goal line with the slot. They got him on the safety instead of the corner Stingley. That's a matchup that favors Oklahoma. Stevens is better around the line of scrimmage. He's not a cover guy. Jalen Hurts read it, the fourth, and they exploited it with the deep throw. Hurts likes to run it in down here. He gave it to Kennedy. Brooks, touchdown! He powered his way in. After the 51-yard pass play, got them to the doorstep. Counter play where they pull the backside guard in the tackle. Watch the back start that way and fold it back inside and power his way into the end zone. He starts by following it. There's penetration at the point of attack. And he wisely uses his vision. We waited till after he kicked it to say he still has not. <laughs> as Gabe Burkich kicks off, wow. showing his strong leg. <laughs> He's out of Chardon, Ohio. Just in the first quarter, LSU back on offense. They bring pressure off the corner. Burrow got it off to Justin Jefferson. He weaves across. Missed tackle just adds insult to injury. And after the play fake, the quick strike, Burrow on target as usual. And a choosing to pass off of it. And here comes pressure from Oklahoma. Burrow plenty of time. On target to Terrace Marshall, circles to the... Ed Ingram is in at left guard. Adrian McGee has moved from left guard to right guard for the injured Damian Lewis. Ingram was a top recruit a couple of years back. A very physical run blocker as well. Joe Burrow told us Moss is one of his closest friends, and he's very unsung, Joe feels, on this team. Up for grabs, nearly intercept. Near the numbers, near sideline. This usually signifies they want to throw the ball to inside receivers. You've got Jefferson and Chase on that side together. Second and ten, they're in field goal range. Burrow checks it down to Jefferson. Full block on that side. They get to the line. In a blink of an eye, and it's Edwards Hilaire again. Obviously, the treatment has worked, and he feels pretty good at this point because it did not show any signs on those two runs. Jamar Chase now lined up on the left hip of Burrow. He feels the rush so well and throws for a touchdown. Terrace Marshall, after the quick checkup when he hit it, and kicker Cade York with the 29 year old holder, Zach Connor. Joe Burrow. Eight out of ten and two touchdowns. Back there previously, it usually doesn't matter. This guy is a touchback machine. Low line drive. They want to cover the kick, and here comes Rambo. Yeah, it's great wow, speed. The squib kick looks like a mistake. Now it's the kicker, Atkins, the sophomore out of Auburn. Out. Jalen Hurts. Pressured immediately and throws it away at the feet of Yardage. Miranda said Shelvin's our best defensive lineman with athleticism and quickness, and he displayed that at almost 350 pounds. They fake a reverse, and it is Hertz who wound up with the ball in his hand. Battius Moss cheering on the defense right now, looking for a stop. And another three and out on third down and ten. They tried to bring pressure. Hertz running out of time. Just lofts it in the air, and they yank down the receiver. Stingley pulled down the receiver. There's still no flag. On. Well, that is just a total whiff by the officials, and a big whiff at that. Reeves Munshaw is the punter. Stingley, who just got away with one, lets the ball roll out. Would have been a foul. It was the side judge, George Leotis, because he was nearest getting the earful from Rink the Lincoln Riley. Burrow. Look deep, checked it down to Chris Curry, and he gets about their eighth pass, which is also a big difference from what LSU ever was on in football. Chris Curry got rocked. Semi-final number one from the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl in Atlanta. Third down and two for LSU. They've twice led by a touchdown. Jamar Chase has been very quiet so far for LSU. Burrow, plenty of time. Running out of time, retreating. Murray tries to help rush as he reaches the sideline. He lobs it up, and it is caught by Terrace Marshall. Terrace Marshall out of bounds. He was out of bounds, I think, and was not forced out. I guess you could say maybe, but then he comes back in and makes a catch. Trey Brown was in coverage. Eight months together yeah. in an offseason. He wasn't there for spring practice last year. Still led them to a 10-3 
season, including that victory in the Fiesta Bowl. Through the hole, Chris Curry, and he bounces off a hit for a few more yards. Rest Edwards Elaire. You got Brian Mead in here right now, too, in place of Kenneth Murray. And a big drop off there. Barrow avoids the rush. On target again. Justin Jefferson, 10 out of 13, as he tries to set the single season completion percentage mark. The end of the game at 77 9. That would be the record. Throwing deep. Has a man. Another touchdown. Jefferson hangs on this time for six points. Another beautiful throw. He's in the slot. It's off coverage again. And unfortunately, it's Justin Broyles again. The new safety. You get a safety matched up on a wide receiver. Third touchdown pass in the quarter for Burrow. Larry and Turner yell. That's an addition of injuries that they had earlier in the year. Alex Grinch said, we cannot afford any more injuries on defense, and that one would be to their best play. Semifinals for the Buckus Award is the best linebacker in the country. And their leading tackler hurts off the hands of Kennedy Brook. Play to C.D. Lamb to set up their touchdown. Hurts pulls it down. Great maneuverability, and he's a yard short of the first down. Hurts again, delivers a stiff arm, turn the corner. It's football going at it as well. 21-7 LSU, Jalen Hurts under duress, throws it away. Tandy Brooks avoids a couple of tackles and is tackled. He said the play along the offensive line would be the key today. Another deep ball, and C.D. Lamb couldn't run under that one with Kerry. Words of Coach Riley's had a phenomenal year. This is a beauty. Didn't get a good bounce into the end zone. It meant the most to Burrow. Swings it out for Chris joining us. Edwards Elias played sparingly. He's had two carries. Burrow deep ball. That one's well covered. Recruit nationally on a five-star system. Burrow flush to his right. Now takes off running, has a long way to go, and it looks like he got there. I would have thought. I think they're going to take a look. I think Joe was. It's everything that they're trying to get out of football. So first and 10 at the 46. Burrow showing that running ability again. Wisely dives down. 47% of the time that he runs, he gets a first down. That's the highest percentage. First downs gained via the run in the country at any position. Short Whoa. throw almost intercepted. They've had their hands on that they couldn't come down with. Burrow dodges the rush. Going for Jefferson again. It's another touchdown. And he beat Wood. Watch Woody Washington just get flat-footed right there. And as soon as that happened, Jefferson ran right by him. And Joe Burrow, I mean, he's got that killer instinct. He's going to not play a lot. Cade York hooks it just inside the left upright. Please watch it live on the ESPN app from anywhere. Record-setting first half for the LSU Tigers. Back. It's already tied the... Single game playoff record with four touchdown passes, some trickery. They need a big play, and instead it's intercepted. Picked off by Kerry Vincent, intended for Nick Basquin. He's the middle safety. Here he is. Watch him drop into the middle of the field and just read this play develop. They try to sneak Basquin down the sideline. The ball's in the air a while, and Kerry Vincent makes a beautiful play on the football. His fourth hitter. That now for LSU's defense. Their 17th interception of the season. This is Jalen Hurts' seventh career game in the playoff. That's the first interception he has thrown. Of course, the other six were with Alabama. Find the matchups that favor you and exploit it. Chris Curry turns the corner out of bounds. News. But earlier this morning, the daughter-in-law of the offensive coordinator, Steve Ensminger, was among five people killed in a plane crash near Lafayette, Louisiana. Good catch. Coach 
But you know, as Ed Ogeron told Holly Rowe before the game, he and his family are completely devastated, as is everybody else. Who three hours he can focus on this and he'll have a lot to deal with obviously in the coming days and hours but for right now he can try to focus on his football team Joe Burrow there's a flag down as he goes Burrow stepped up into the pocket on target again here's Jamar Chase Tripped up a ball game, and it's a huge one on third and 17. 22 yard gain. Burrow deep again on target again. Jefferson again. Touchdown again. Watch the little hesitation by Jefferson. Just a little freeze. Freezes Justin Broyles. And then he creates separation. And Joe Burrow says, I'm going to give him a chance. He gets a step on him. He's a bigger guy. In the Peach Bowl game, previous record, he has four already. There have been five others who have caught four touchdown passes in any bowl game. Avery Atkins, the touchback. They're going to do next, trying to maintain confidence in a game like this. Yeah, it's hard. To, they don't have any answers right now. And, and nobody's had answers for LSU's offense all year. It's in game. And this is without Clyde Edwards Elaire really being a factor. Big rush by Chase on, and he takes Hurts down back inside the 25. Making the case that the committee got it right with this performance. Looked like there was some holding as Hurts dodged the rush, got it off, caught by C.D. Lamb. He nearly broke free. He's at 83 and an interception. Kennedy Brooks. Sean, this is a critical drive for o Trying to get the first win ever for the Big 12 Conference in the college football. Our secondary. On target to C.D. Lamb. No weakness on that LSU offense. Hurts had C.D. Lamb open. They, this year, 71.8% completion percentage coming in fourth in the country. Hands it off to Kennedy Brooks. He Calcaterra. Highly recruited. He runs a pass pattern. Hurts can't find anybody open. Fires back of the end zone. Flag down. He was trying to get it to Jaden Hazelwood and the flag thrown on. Was the back right up into the hole. Hurts is 18 rushing touchdowns this season. Brooks swung down at the line of scrimmage. One is better for Oklahoma with that beef inside. It's a lot of size to try to move. They do run outside. Hurts a nice fake and the touchdown for Oklahoma. The read option. You're going to see a block come in right here by CeeDee Lamb on the linebacker. All that beef inside. Take it to the edge. Fake the pitch. Jalen Hurts gets there, but a nice block. And the extra point up and good by Gabe Burkich. Burkich. Kicks off for Oklahoma and a touchback. Aid and see if they can just force Joe Burrow to throw underneath. Chris Curry weaves through the traffic. He's done a very nice job. Bring the tight end in motion and lead him as a blocker. Oh On target, wide open receiver. Thaddeus Moss with one man to beat. Touchdown. Pat Fields could not. Exactly what could not happen for Oklahoma. The extra point up and good by throw to Thaddeus Moss. Here's Moss right here. Uguebu is going to make contact here, and then nobody's going to run with him. They roll the safety deep. Nobody goes down the slot. And that's just a bust in the Oklahoma coverage to the short side of the field. Jamar Chase drew the corner, Motley. Nobody went deep in the deep third of the field. And again, Joe Burrow does not miss things. If you make a mistake, he sees it on the underneath route with Jamar Chase. And that should have been his deep third responsibility. And he turned it over. And again, Joe Bradley Hiles, if Oklahoma were to win the game, he would not be able to play the, the first half of the next ballgame. Long throw, incomplete, intended for...
That's a misnomer at Oklahoma. They are 58% yeah. run this season. And over the last four games, better than 66% run. They stick with the run. And Jalen Hurts is tripped up by Grant Dell. They gave up to C.D. Lamb. Right up the middle, Hurts. Got rid of it, incomplete for C.D. Lamb. Opener against Miami. Come back strong this year. Hurts retreating. Look out for the end zone and chase on. He got it off. It's caught by Jeremiah Hall. Fair catch made by Derek Stingley. 92 working against smaller defensive backs. Ty Davis Price. There's no reason to take a chance with him and his hamstring in this ball game right now. LSU with one of the most impressive first halves in college football bowl game history. Oh, he said nothing. He said nope. It's Joe Burrow. It's Joe Brady. It's all these great players and coaches and everybody at every level of the operation. Yeah. Burrow is a man wide open. It's Jamar Chase with a first down near the 10. And he had a defender fall down. Will he throw seven touchdown passes in the half? Not on this play. Ty Davis Price. Halftime with another touchdown. Oklahoma is trying to get Parnell Motley off the field. Meanwhile, Joey Galloway standing by. Burrow. Fakes it. Throws wide open. Touchdown. Terrace Marshall this time. Mason and Terrace Marshall looks like he's going to block Marshall right here. He's going to come in here and just kind of look like he's going to block. Goes back out. Oklahoma goes with the play fake and it's wide open. Exact same play they scored on in this build. It's too easy for Joe Burrow. Well, almost half a hundred in the first half. That's in Jefferson's record. I mean, now you start to. Check the record books for <laughs> performances in any game yeah. in the history of college football. You tells us he'll never go to another Cincinnati Bengal game again. Jalen Hurts against Georgia in the fourth quarter after Tua got injured. They were down a touchdown. He led them to two touchdowns and the win. And so this has been a complete dominating effort by LSU on both sides of the ball. When well, we started the day, and here's Kennedy Brooks, Oklahoma averaged 554.2 yards. Oklahoma just saying no moss here in the first in the first half. I mean, got to go in and try to convince our guys. Let's look at it as 0-0. Let's play a 30-minute game. You down whatsoever. Gabe Burkett kicks off high and returnable for Jontre Kirkland. And he'll be stopped just across the 25 yard line. Chris Curry on first down to shatter that. Jill Burrow delivers to Justin Jeff. Moves and he doesn't decide to scramble, he doesn't panic. And he just waits for one of his uh, his guys to uncover. Chris Curry saying that's a possibility today. Burrow's pass batted down, trying to get it to pocket gets collapsed. He never looks like he's lost his cool. Throwing deep, caught. Terrace Marshall all the way to the anybody before the next one. Well, that would be my question. How long do you leave the starters in? Wide open, Justin Jefferson. In your best position to win a national championship on January 13th. Murray coming on a blitz. And Burrow forfeiting possession of the second half. Sidestep the rush. Flag down. Burrow diving attempt by Thad for his offense right here. Quick hitter to Justin Jefferson. He got belted. On fourth and two, they put Jamar Chase in the backfield. And the Bolitnikov leading 49 to 14 behind seven touchdown passes from Joe Burrow in the first half. Chris Curry bounced off the pile. 
And wound up gaining about the state most people think has been one of the most complete teams, if not the most complete team all year. Trey yeah. wins. They could tie Florida State's ACC record with another win tonight. Chris Curry gets the first toward the Buckeyes. Had a great experience there. He wants a rushing touchdown, and he has it. He's thrown for seven, and now he's rushed for one. On the right side of the line, they watch Jefferson and Curry both get behind him and help him into the end zone. Now, that is back a first-round pick, academic All-American, distinguished alum at Penn State, point guard in basketball, turned down some mid-major scholarship offers to play Division I basketball. So it wasn't like he's been practicing for that event. You really don't think you have a question that Holly can't answer, do you? Oh, she knows the answer. Hurts a deep throw through the hands of seed position groups, and he won every sprint. And the next day, he won every sprint. And he just endeared himself to his football team. Haskins beat him out, had a great year, and was drafted in the first round by Washington. But when he realized it was going to be another year on the bench, he looked to transfer after spring ball and wound up at LSU. C.D. Lamb high stepping across midfield and chopped down at the 40. Not had a lot of space in the ball game. Hurts incomplete. Megan Moore in tune with today's passing attacks. He lived up to that promise. Jeremiah Hall got a chance to be the head coach at Ole Miss. Three very tough years there, won only 10 games. He admitted he didn't do a good job, was too hard on the people around him. Herman was going to be the coach. Very successful coach at the University of Houston who opted for Texas instead. Charleston Rambo near the first down line and stopped by. Well, right now, and the message that he and Dave Aranda that it's third down and three, Oklahoma driving, trailing 56 to 14 in the third quarter. Jalen Hurts on target. Hazelwood, a five star recruit. Terry Vincent's back on the field in the LSU secondary. Jalen Hurts. It is batted in the air and out of bounds. Grant thought he might be a part of shadowing, helping to double cover C.D. Lamb if it was necessary today. Jalen Hurts, the Delpit. Big part of the history of defensive backs now at LSU. They call themselves DBU, and understandably so. P.J. Clark, we the uh, are going to miss several because they've had many, many greats. Jalen Hurts avoided the rush, trying to pick up a block, Beautiful lunging play. for the pylon. Touchdown! Yeah, just a great play by Jalen. Kobe Stevens, he's going to come right here unblocked. And Jalen Hurts has got to escape from him, first of all. He does that. He gets a little bit of a block from Rambo, not really. <laughs> just got in the way a little bit. But he knew how to get that football to the pylon. And the AT&T pylon camera gave us a great shot of it right there. He's, he's said that many times in describing his journey and, you know, the success he had at out. Jalen Hurts, the runner-up this year for the Heisman to Joe Burrow. Gabe Burkett. Jackson era and what he's brought to the table helps a guy like Jalen Hurts for these NFL teams to see that you don't have to be necessarily a tradition. Differently than, than you ever used to. The prototype for an NFL quarterback, Kyler Murray, it, it's completely different than what it used to be. And another catch for Jefferson. He's sick for the Peach Bowl. Joe Burrow still out there. With his team up by 35 and three minutes and change to go in the third quarter. And he's a much improved thrower, as we've talked about all day long. And kudos to John Harbaugh, Greg Roman, and that staff. You know, they've crafted an offense. Coaching is about taking advantage of the skill set of right. your players. They've not had a bad game. I mean, they didn't have a down game ever offensively. Burrow after the play fake. They're spreading it around now. This is game 58 37, despite more than 400 yards rushing and 600 yards plus of off. We see Mr. Burrow in the Now, this board. has to be his, his last hurrah here. His dad, Jimmy, retired from coaching to so come watch his son play. Boy, was that a good decision. They're going to care about him, and she got a very emotional. Talking about it, timeout Oklahoma, yeah, Atlanta right. suburbs. Unbelievable. Two of the best 
in the business. Two of the most highly recruited players in the country their year in high school. Ty Davis Price got rocked. And they got still Burrow still in and mm -hmm. Justin Jefferson. I think they're going to try for one more connection between those two guys. Oh, he fumbles the football. And now a battle for it, and LSU got it back. But you have the stories if you need them. Well, oops. Cole Tracy told him to try to keep it between the uprights. <laughs> and he goes two for two with two field goals of 40 plus. That was a 46 yard attempt off the left upright. Plenty of leg. Just stayed out to the left. That was some of your best today. clinics. They rate kickers and punters around the country. A lot of the colleges rely on that. Good throw by Jalen. And a nice play here to start the fourth quarter. Deep to the Bears. All that action live on ESPN and the ESPN app. You can watch anywhere. Yeah, Baylor only lost two games the whole season, both to Oakland. Their leading sacker, Ronnie Perkins, their backup running back, Ramondre Stevenson, their suspended Trajan Bridges, special teams player. The ball game today. No reasons given for the suspensions, as Laura Rutledge mentioned earlier. That very unusual young man. It's been a record setting night for him as well. He's on target to Nick Baspin, he won. And with Jalen's two rushing touchdowns tonight, that's 20, tying Mildred's record from the same season for rushing touchdowns by a quarterback. All right. Fourth down and two, 10 10 to go. Fourth quarter, play clock running out, so Jalen Hurts uses a timeout. Yeah. Fourth down and two for Oklahoma. Hurts with time has his receiver. It's Drake Stoops, and he's to the goal line and loses the ball. I actually thought his knee was down before he even got yardage fighting for the goal line. See, there his down. knee is down before the ball goes anywhere. I think That's it's going to be, be uh, Oklahoma ball at about the one yard yes. line, one and a half yard mm -hmm. line. The knee down. Yeah, Christian Fulton ripped the football out, but Drake Stoops was down before that happened. Is, is really pretty remarkable. A voted team captain. That's the thing that meant the most to Jalen. TJ Pledger, the touchdown for Oklahoma. Jay Burkich, still no announcer whammy. Trying to season in major college football. Colt Brennan of Hawaii, the record 58 2006. There are only seven men who have ever thrown 50 or more in a. Sales Brennan now in at quarterback, the backup. He hands it off to Chris Curry. Part of their offense, and really, regardless of who wins that game tonight in the desert, they both have outstanding defensive football teams. And Curry's look good, and he's refusing to go down. And he gets a little help from Tory Carter. That offensive line, great communicator of the guys around him. And when you go five man protection as much as they do, you better have a center that's on the ball. Curry crosses midfield, one of the few. Brennan, eagle RPO action, and an accurate throw to Derek Dillon. Can't imagine they snap it inside of 10 seconds on the play clock at all the rest of this football game. Derek Dillon again, you saw the obviously 10 semifinal games, only two decided by single digits. I think we're going to have a close one tonight in the Valley. Bowden was fired and he took over and then uh, Terry Don Phillips the athletic director made him best first year start <laughs> second year start and three year start in Oklahoma history in terms of number of wins. Unfortunately he's going to end the third year in a row at 12 and 2 with That's Oklahoma right. Bud Wilkinson and Benny Owen and Chuck Fairbanks and Barry Switzer. And we mentioned Bob Stoops. John Emery into the end zone. Highly recruited true freshman. I think he thought. How about the story that Lincoln Riley told us yesterday that when he was at East Carolina, he thinks he was the first guy. Avery Atkins' leg needs to be 
Getting a little tired right now, one would think. First and 10, Oklahoma. Jalen Hurd still in there. They did have some other quarterbacks warming up a while ago. Oh, he fires a man. bomb. That Alabama. They Spencer love. Rattler is the new quarterback. He was the number one. Well, because of the success that they're having, when you have back to back Heisman Trophy winners, and then the third guy hurts as a runner up, you're going to be able to recruit some quarterbacks into this system. Rattler. Rattler, six feet, 191 pounds, took a hit as he got it off. Drake Stoops could not hang on. Coach, the only coaches in the history of major college football who won more in their first three seasons coached in the 1800s. Walter Camp, playoff record, surpassing the 59 by Oregon against Florida State, New Year's Day of 15. The college football writer, reporter, so stylish. Down to the locker room. Well, LSU 14 and 0 for the first time in school history. The only other time they were 13 and 0. They lost the national championship game to Alabama. God bless the Ensminger family and Carly McCord's family, and may she rest in peace. Certainly a very emotional day, Holly, for Ed Ogeron and this LSU team.